Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well, as you can see it's well and truly night time here on the farm and it's pretty damn cold too. So I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to get outside and review Pentagon's UTA Tactical Anorak. Now this Anorak you probably saw at the SHOT Show if you had a look at my booth review on Pentagon clothing there. And it really caught my eye because it's, it really features quite a thin overall feel to it, yet gives you that real warmth rating. Okay, so it's a Taslon outer shell, but it's a Stormtex Thermolite lining. So what that means, okay, is that I can show you just here, or probably better just to pinch up the top here. You can see if I pinch my finger and thumb together, just how thin that is. Okay, I'm not really pushing any material in, it's just really thin. So what's the benefit of that? The jacket's rated to minus 15, okay, but you've still got that thin enough material where you can man manoeuvre your arms around, so forth, reach up, and you're not restricted. So you don't have that bulkiness of a normal thermal uh, jacket. Good thing about it is it's waterproof rated, uh, 5,000 rating, and there's 3,000 rating breathability. So what does that mean? It means that you get the uh, waterproof uh, benefits, it's warm, and it's also breathable. So you're not getting all sweaty underneath the jacket. So a few features about it. On the cuffs, both sides, you've got um, adjustable cuffs there, just uh, Velcro. Okay, so that's really cool. I mean, you can adjust that up and keep the foul weather out. You've got uh, zip-up pockets on both sides, on the upper arm, so you can just put different items and so forth in there. On the outside of these pockets, you've also got uh, Velcro, okay, so both sides. So you've got the Velcro there, so if you're in uh, the military or certain police units, you can put your unit patches on the outside as well. Then on the front, we've got a pouch here to store some items in the front there. The material in there, honestly, is just so nice and soft and warm. It's really nice. The uh, pockets on the sides, I mean, you can join your hands in the middle there. They're not, um, you know, partitioned off in any way. You do have zips on the outside there, so if you do want to put items down there, you can zip up the pockets, no problem at all. On the side, you've also got zip-up sides to it. So when you actually put the anorak on, you can um, unzip both sides so you're not trying to really wiggle and get into the anorak. You've also got a um, uh, just a button to just keep those zips down as well. Because you'll notice that the zip at the top here is only like a uh, three-quarter zip. It doesn't go all the way down. And the reason for that is so the material can keep all the warmth inside. So on the uh, topic of the, the top zip here, if you zip it all the way up, you know, you've got that protection around your neck as well, which is really important. But the hoodie, there's something very special about this. Now, I'll just put it on. First of all, you've got the pull-up tabs on the side, so you can just secure it really nicely around your face. But honestly, as soon as you put this on, and I mean, it's pretty cold here at the moment, you feel an instant warmth around your ears, your jawline, and your neck. It really keeps that heat in. The other good thing is too, is there's a, a strap on top which I've tightened up. Now the good thing about that is that when you're walking around, a lot of the times with the nanorack, it can start to slip off as you're walking around. Or if you're getting wind up underneath it, it can blow off. But we don't have that problem. This actually holds it on nice and tight. The uh, pull-up sides on here keeps it all really secure. And if you zip it all the way up, it's just a nice, neat little package. So the price of this anorak is uh, $220, which I think is fairly reasonable when you start uh, looking at thermal sort of clothing. I know from having lived in the snow, once you start getting into thermal jackets, they really do go up in, uh, in price and it's quite a few hundred dollars to get a good quality one. This one here, as I said, I've worn it around the farm. I mean, you know, we've had some really sub-zero temperatures here and this has just performed brilliantly. I haven't been cold with it at all. It's just a really nice fitting jacket. So anyway guys, that's pretty much as much as I can tell you about the jacket. Um, if you're looking for a good quality anorak to keep the foul weather out, and uh, you know, also that looks nice and feels good on and isn't too bulky, this one is definitely worth taking a look at. So I'll put the uh, link to Pentagon Clothing underneath this review on YouTube and check one out in your own time. All right guys, only a short review this time. I hope you enjoy it. Till next time, we'll catch you then.